My name is Richard Coons. I'm the Lockheed Martin Program Manager for OSIRIS-REx. So this is NASA's third robotic mission. There have been two other robotic missions. This is the first one, first NASA robotic mission to actually go to an asteroid, collect a sample, and return, you know, 60 grams or a substantial pristine sample from an asteroid. Yeah, so in 2021, we'll actually do a burn of our main engines to get on a trajectory to get back to Earth. And then in 2023, we'll actually arrive back in the proximity of Earth where we'll do a maneuver to point the SRC in the right orientation to land safely at the Utah test range uh, in September of 2023. We'll then continue past the Earth and actually enter an orbit around the Sun. So the main engines are the are the those that you see right here at the bottom of the spacecraft. So the name of the asteroid is Bennu. 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 And yeah. on the journey to Bennu and back, we're actually going to travel about 509 million miles. And then when we're actually at Bennu and where we're trying to collect the sample, it'll actually take light about 18 minutes to get there and then 18 minutes to get back. So it's actually a 36 minute round trip light time while we're trying to collect the sample. Absolutely. So there's actually several different camera suites on the spacecraft that actually run from the X-ray to the mid-wave infrared. So we're not only going to get camera, get pictures and snapshots back, but they're actually going to contain a, actually a wide range of information because of the broad um, spectral content that they cover. We'll actually be able to see the asteroid once we do our approach maneuver as a single pixel in one of our cameras uh, in 2018. Then we spend about two years actually taking better pictures of the asteroid to figure out where we should sample and is it safe for us to sample there. Okay, so the landing zone has already been predetermined. It has not. So once we arrive at the asteroid in 19, we actually spend about two years before we actually collect the sample in July of 2020, making sure that we map it, making sure that we understand the tilts the different shapes on contours of the actual asteroid itself, and uh, pick a safe sample site that has high science value or a high likelihood to provide um, incredibly uh, valuable scientific information. So, so we do actually, it's one of the reasons that we think that Bennu is of interest to us is we do want to go to uh, an asteroid that has some loose material. The equatorial bulge that I think they talked to you about before you came into the clean room, there's a bulge around the middle of the asteroid um, that indicates that there's loose material there for us to go collect. Part of what we'll be trying to understand in our mapping campaign is, right, where is that loose material? How do we go get it? Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Th then we grab the sample. So, uh, so are we actually looking at thrusters on the bottom there? Yeah. And then maybe, yeah, there we go. Yeah, hands on that, come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.